Hey guys, it's Taylor. I just wanted to make a quick video about dimensional clearance um, inside a tower. I'm currently doing a low-end build with an RX 460 and uh, I just picked up a Cooler Master Hyper 2112 LED. I'm not quite sure what the difference between the Hyper 2112 LED and the 2112 Evo is. Um, they both look relatively the same size, but I picked this one up because of obviously the fact that it lights up and That's just the way I went with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox it and I'm going to actually lay my case down and Put it inside just to show you the amount of clearance that I actually have with this cooler inside uh, I was quite surprised uh, when I got it in the mail the first thing I thought was, wow, that's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. So that's what we're going to do. So I'll unbox it. Just to give you an idea of what the size of this unit is, I was actually quite surprised with how big it is. So it comes with the fan already attached. As you can see, it has a four pin connector for the CPU uh, connector on the motherboard, and it actually replaces the stock uh, CPU cooler. It is quite large, uh, probably three times the size of a stock cooler, um, and it has three or four direct contact copper pipes. So I'm just going to sit that there and I'm going to lay down my case. My case is actually a uh, quite old thermal take matrix case. Um, it's, like I said, a low-end build. Uh, my first build that I've ever done. I'm slowly gathering parts and I wanted to be able to overclock my CPU without um, running into the risks of overheating. So one of the budget options for doing that was this cooler. All right, so I have the case laid down now. I'm just gonna take and open it up. One of the reasons I like this case is because it has a double um, clips on the side. I don't have to undo a screw each time. It's actually a quick release, which I do like. If you enjoy fiddling inside your tower, then that's definitely something that you can uh, look into getting. Uh, a lot of newer end cases have quick release. So here's the cooler again. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an angle uh, from the rear of the clearance once I put the side on. Um, I'm just going to sit it inside like that. And uh, first thing you're going to say is, Taylor, you don't have a motherboard and you don't have a CPU in there yet. That's correct. I don't. Um, I understand that. And I am going to lose some space because that will lift the cooler up higher. Um, once I get it in there, then we're really going to see if it fits or not. Um, but right now, what I want to just show you is, is the height of that cooler just by itself. It is quite the size cooler. So I'm just going to show you a different angle here once I get the side panel back on. All right, so... I took uh, the phone off the tripod um, just to show you the rear of the case. I do have the cooler sitting inside and I do have the panel on. Um, so I'm just going to show you in through where the power supply would go. The amount of clearance that I actually have left. Um, again, it is sitting on the bottom of the case. That will raise up. There will be a motherboard installed and uh, on top of the motherboard then there will also be the thickness of the CPU raising this cooler up um, higher than it already is. As you can see, not very much clearance left. Once I have a motherboard and a CPU, I do believe that those cooler uh, copper pipes are going to be getting pretty close to that. Um, so I guess we'll see. I do believe it's going to fit, uh, just fit at that. So.
but either way, this is a very good option for uh, additional cooling on your CPU if that is something that you're interested in doing. I don't think it's necessary if you don't plan to overclock your CPU. Um, if you do plan to do some considerable overclocking, you can go this route, which is cheaper, or you can go the slightly more expensive route, and uh, I do believe Corsair has uh, a number of liquid coolers varying in sizes uh, that you can install pretty cheaply. Um, that is another option. So that's it for this video. Uh, I don't uh, know what else to show you. Uh, there's quite a bit of brackets and parts um, that come in the box. Various Intel and AMD socket type options are available. Uh, I, you, do believe that you can even get AM4 brackets uh, if you contact Ma Cooler Master directly. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. Um, it's just something to be aware of when you're purchasing parts to keep in mind that not all cases are going to fit a large air cooler. Thanks. Bye-bye.